passieren, ne? Fritz. I really like this RAM board. It's a uh, it's a good product to use for templates. Beautiful. There it is. Just turn that into some 316 steel. Beautiful. Okay. That'll work. All right, guys. So you can clearly see that my mounting plates that the roll cage attaches down into the frame, it transfers down into the frame. You can see that they've got a pretty good standoff riser tube. Um, this is all 188 wall DOM, so it's really strong, but you have to also incorporate gussets. Anytime you have a tube that just welds straight into a plate, you really need to gusset the tube to the plate um, that way it can't shear off if, it, if you're just relying on a welded bead and a major side impact it could actually just shear that tube right off it'll actually crack the whole tube right above the weld and just shear right off so you want to brace the side of the tube to give it some strength um, anytime you just have a joint that goes right down into a plate so the reason I bring that up is because these frame tie-ins or the, the box, I'm going to box this frame in back here or all the way down, but I'm going to incorporate this um, plate into this uh, tube and underneath so we can get a bead underneath this um, tie-in plate. And then we're also going to do the same thing uh, running down the length of the back. That way we have shear um, side to side and front to back. So we got these uh, mounting plates will have shear value in both directions. Um, so what I need to do now is I need to template this whole back half so that um, it incorporates into here. So this one's going to be a little bit more challenging than these two front ones were. So let's get out the RAM boards like. So this will slide in there. There. Yeah. That'll work. So see, we'll get a whole bead down this back side, and then we'll get welded tube into here. All right, guys, there it is. You can see the templates turn into steel. So this is a 3 16 steel I had from an old broken piece of farm equipment. Um, so we went out and cut these out and they fit perfectly. So let's uh, jump over here and see how they fit in the Jeep.
Beautiful. Wow, that looks good. Let's go uh, hit the edge, and get all this down to bare metal at all the weld seams, and go cut this big one. it right there now we need to come down to here let's go get another scrap okay so I went and grabbed a scrap so now I need to the cab um, gets close to right around here so I need this gusset to weld to the bottom of here and then come down kind of quick so we can get a weld bead on top of this and then up I'm gonna do something like, like that. Don't forget to account for the, the weld beads right here. So don't come up at a 90, account for your weld bead. So let's cut that out and see what that looks like. It'll be good. See, the more directions you can transfer this load down into the frame, the better shear value you'll get. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. We'll come up four and an eighth. Right there. Grab a piece of scrap. Come. Definitely got a weld bead there. Definitely got a weld bead up there. There she goes. That will help a lot.
All right, guys, there it is. So you can see I've got this all boxed out. 